So what this tool does is it, it says, okay, you may have to file a longer route from point A to point B, but as time goes on, maybe the weather uh, weakens, diminishes, moves, and as a result of that, um, this tool analyzes, hey, is there, a, is there a shorter route we can take that will still avoid the weather in a safe fashion and that everybody that handles that flight, the dispatcher, the pilot, and their traffic control people, can all jointly collaborate and execute that new flight plan. So I'm going to show you an example here of uh, a flight here that uh, we got an alert. I don't know if you heard it, but we get a cha-ching um, to say, look, if you could get this shorter route, you might be able to uh, reduce your fuel consumption on this and you would save some fuel. So in this particular case, here's a DFW to New Orleans flight. Normally you would file out east over to DFW and go down to New Orleans. But on this particular day, because of the weather, you know, we flight plan the route up north in Oklahoma and then up into Arkansas and then down towards Memphis and then back down to New Orleans. On that particular day, that was an added 20 minutes, almost 21 minutes in en route airtime. So our customers are going to get there 21, 22 minutes late. We're going to have to burn more fuel, pay more crew time, put more wear and tear on their aircraft during that whole time frame. So we, we have a great interest in trying to help our customer, customers out and get there in a quicker fashion. So the green line here is the original route. The new tool here, the DWR, the Dynamic Weather Route Tool, is proposing that we, once we get up here into southeastern Oklahoma, we consider uh, asking the air traffic control if we can go to Little Rock, back down to this point called McGee, and then down in New Orleans, and if we do that, we're going to save 21 minutes. Now, if there was some additional weather along there, I could say, well, you know what? Yeah, I can go here, and I can go to Little Rock, but I'm going to take that, and I'm going to say, you know what? Why don't we make it even better? Well, you notice here as I change the route of the proposed route of flight, we've got some intelligence within the tool that says, "Hey, here's some here's some weather. Here's some severe weather. So these blue lines around it are it's a weather avoidance field that will, allows you to say, I am at least 25 miles away from that weather. Therefore, that's a pretty safe route there that we believe we could our pilots would would fly." And obviously we got to think uh, safety first. So in this particular example, and we have a uh, the ability then that would still save about 21 minutes. It's there's one that would save 22 minutes. So I have the ability to, to amend this and for consideration. And then once I would do that, what I would do is I'd slide over to my position here, and I have a, uh, a little message here that I would send to the dispatcher um, at their desk. I'd call them up on the phone also to say you have a message, and what it would do, it would be a message that they would send to the printer on board the uh, aircraft and recommend that the pilot ask the air traffic controller for a direct routing from their current position to those points that we saw on the map. And often after we do that, that collaboration between the dispatcher, the pilot, and the air traffic controller is accomplished, and we save, uh, we get some good savings, reduce emissions, and we do it in a safe fashion.